Well, we're out here collecting squaw bush. Or, uh, there's another common name I can't remember. It's, it's Rus trilobata. <clears throat> and these red fruits, you can, uh, you don't eat them, but you just suck on them or just get the the flavor off of the off of the berries themselves. And uh, you suck on them. And kind of, they're very, very sour. They kind of like, taste like sour warheads. And uh, they'll make you pucker. You've got a good pucker power. <clears throat> and uh, we just get it. <clears throat> Sometimes if we're on a hike or something like that, we have a water bottle with us. We just pick a bunch of these, put them in the water bottle, shake it up. And it kind of tastes like lemon water. Put a little sugar or sweetener in of some type, it'll be like lemonade. So there's a another bush that's closely related to this. It's Cerus integrifolia. And the common name of that one is lemonade berry. So, and uh, it grows on the mainland, but we find it Profusely is over on Catalina Island. We found just tons of it out there. So, a lot of people will mistake squaw bush for poison oak because the leaves look very similar. But the leaves, if you look at it, this is one leaf. That's not a real good example. Okay, this is one leaf. It's uh, three leaflets on it. And you can see the center leaflet is tapered down to that intersection with the other two leaves. Poison oak doesn't do that. It's got a bare stem between that and the middle leaflet. So that's one way to tell. And you can see on squaw bush, the, uh, the fruit is born out at the very end of the branch. See, like this. And then poison oak, all the fruit is born on the inside, like inside of the branches, not, not on the very ends. And the fruit on poison oak is white. It's a white berry. And of course it's poisonous too, so um, you, you don't want to mess with that. But the other reason Marianne was saying that a lot of times you find squaw bush and poison oak growing close together, and you will, but I told her that that's not an issue here because we're at about an uh, uh, altitude of about 53, 5400 feet right here. And poison oak doesn't grow really any higher than uh, about 4,000, 4,500 feet. So we're safe just because of the elevation. So I've had people tell me, well, I've seen poison oak and big bear. And I said, well, show it to me. And uh, I've only had one person bring me a sample back, and it was squaw bush. You know? But they swore up and down that there was poison oak. So that's. Uh, How do you pick all of these? Do you just get them by hand? Yeah, we just see it's, it's, it's they're kind of messy and they're really sticky, and that's one way the seed disseminates itself. It's uh, how how it spreads, so an animal can come walking by it. And the seed will stick to its fur and they'll go along, you know, maybe a mile later they'll run, rub across another bush and the seed will fall off and land on the ground and and uh, it gets covered by leaves and stuff like that and germinates and you have a new squaw bush, uh, Roost trilobata. So that's it. Cool. So, well, we use these for... Um, take home we, we save them we dry them and stuff because the the tartness of the berry stays on it even when it's dry and even though you can you can use it once and put it in a bottle you can use that same berry two or three times and it'll still get uh, make the water taste lemony so it's kind of fun <laughs>